uh, Charles McKenzie, and I'm chair of the GALF, the Global Alliance for the Elimination of Lymphatic Filariasis. And I come from the NTD Support Center in Atlanta. So the 10th meeting is a meeting we're holding about 20 years after the start of the lymphatic filariasis elimination program. So we have a meeting every two years. And the purpose of the meeting is to bring together the, the progress that, that has been achieved around the world and see what we need to do to achieve global elimination. It's here in India. This is the second meeting we've had in India. We had one here in 2002. India is chosen because it is one of the most important countries in the world in terms of this disease. It's important because it's been vital in the history of lymphatic filariasis, uh, first described in 6th century BC by an Indian physician. And it does carry still a large burden of the world's disease. Uh, it's also important because many of the Indian scientists have been very key to the global program structure, meaning they've been part of designing the way we do the program. So India is a very key place for the program and so we're back again for the second time in the last 20 years. Actually, most countries have seen great change. Um, we have countries that have been declared by WHO to have eliminated the disease. Uh, we, we have uh, two that were declared a long time ago. There was China and the Republic of Korea. And in the last two years, we've had an, another 10 countries that have declared, been declared free. Most countries have moved towards that declaration and there are very few countries left in the world that haven't actually started the program. Well, the scorecard, the, there's a global scorecard um, and really all countries are involved in that. So the, uh, there's not really, I mean, some countries have their own scorecard but there is a global scorecard for NTDs. And that, just by definition, includes all countries. And the score, scorecard reflects what countries have succeeded and those that haven't started. So the answer to your question really is all countries are involved in the global scorecard. But some countries have their own scorecard. Why do they have 40% of the burden? They, I mean, the endemicity, meaning the, the, the disease is very embedded in India and a number of countries in the world. I guess one answer to the question is that you have a very large population because the population relates to the burden of the disease. So if you have more people, you're likely to have, and you're in an area of transmission before we start the program. So initially, there were a lot of people living in an area where there was transmission, and so you have a large burden. Why is it 40% still? Well, India still has a way to go in terms of getting treatment to, to every area. And that is something that the government is taking very seriously. Yesterday, the Minister of Health announced the accelerated plan for lymphatic filariasis elimination and um, very much encouraged it at, at this meeting. So that 40% hopefully will drop quickly. But it's there because you have a lot of people who live in an area where there's been transmission. Well, countries that have, low, have a high population still infected have to really start a program of, of transmission. There is a new approach that we've, that's just being rolled out, which is called triple drug. Uh, we give two drugs. For the last 20 years, we've used two drugs. We're now adding another drug safely. Uh, that will help. So any country that has a great need to start uh, treatment or has only done treatment for a couple of years will, could 
add to the new approach to it. So that would be something that countries who need to catch up, let's call it, should address this new therapy. Mm -hmm.